Hano down, down. Good, good boy. We'll be teaching Hano right here the down position, and we're going to use food. And at the end of the session, I will give him the food. But that's all, and that's the only time we'll be using food as positive reinforcement when training this dog. We use it in one session, one time, and that's it. Never again. All right? Don't use treats and hot dogs and cheese to train a dog. It's unhealthy for the dog, first of all. Makes you look like a resource for snacks if you want to do it once. Okay, but then stop. If you keep using food, you're gonna have behavioral problems with your dog. You're definitely gonna do it. Don't use treats and food to train your dog. It's unnecessary. You wanna do it once to shape a behavior, a minuscule amount of food, do it. But don't do it on the second session or you're screwing up. We're gonna teach how to down. And to do that, I'm going to use food. Yes, I know. I'm the dog trainer that says don't use food in dog training. I'm using food, but we're not going to give the food to the dog. Why am I going to give the dog this food when it eats twice a day? This is just to lure the dog into position. And it's a very easy way that you can teach your dog, start getting the dog in the down position. Remember, Dog training is a lot of muscle memory. So all you have to do is start getting the dog in that position and have it start associating that position with the word down. Now you can also not use food at all. You don't have to warm into position. And I'll go over that in another video, but when you're doing that, you're putting pressure behind the shoulder blades and pushing the dog in the, into the down position. You're putting the dog into in the down position by you're giving a downward motion with the leash in your foot. This is very simple. This is an easy way to do it. You can do it, but this is, you know, with me, te with me saying, now listen to what I'm saying. Don't give the dog the food. That's a huge problem in, in our society with dog training, is that they're advocating giving the dog treats and food. If you're working with a dog trainer that's saying use hot dogs or cheese, then you're, you're working with the wrong person. They're telling you the wrong thing. One, he's, he's already going in the down position. Because cheese, that's a milk product. Dogs are lactose intolerant. They're not supposed to have any milk products after they're weaned. And, the, and hot dogs, if you're working with somebody that's saying, hot dogs aren't good for a human. Why would it be good for your dog? And hot dogs have like zero calcium in them. And dogs need so much more calcium than a human. If you give your dog meat without calcium, you're going to screw up the dog's calcium phosphorus level. So this is, this is very simple. This is a bigger piece of meat than I would usually have. Okay? That's bigger. But take the meat and tuck it behind your thumb like this, right? And you'll go like this in a downward motion. Put the dog in the sit. Sit position. Sit. Down. Good. See? See how easy that is? Okay, sit. Now I'm doing it on the steps because I, I, I have a bad hip. So this sort of makes it easier. See how the dog's already going in the down position for this? You don't have to give the dog the food. Just instead, when he goes in the down position, I'll start using praise. Down. Down. Good boy. Good boy. That's good. Sit. This is way bigger than I would usually use, okay? I just cut this off. I was cutting it off for my cat. All right? So if I did want to give it to the dog, it has calcium on it, so it wouldn't be unhealthy. Right? But I'm not gonna even give it, I'm not even give it, give it to Hanu. Down. Good. See? Hanu, sit. We'll start working Hanu doing push-ups. He's gotta do push-ups before he goes back to. Hanu, down. Sit. No, sit. Down. That's a good boy, good boy, good boy. 
don't give the dog the food. Now let's go outside and do it. Okay, so now we're outside. Now I'm gonna do it once, same way with me sort of down on the ground. And then the next time I'm gonna do it standing up next to him using pressure on the leash because that's how we're gonna be training him for the rest of the time. So first time we'll do it, kind of down, no down. Good, sit, sit. Now, the reason why it's easier for the dog to do it inside, there's less distractions. But 90% of dog training is gonna happen outside anyway. So we had to get him to do it outside. Still one more time like this, kind of down, no down. Good, sit. Now this time I'm gonna do it standing next to him and using a downward pressure on the leash. Down, down, good. Sit, sit, good, good boy. Down, down, good, good boy. I don't sit. Thank you.